Good evening everyone. Today is a very special moment because we have with us India's number one business author Dr. Radhakrishnan Pillai and the Managing Director of Winplus Private Limited Dr. Karuna Murthy. So welcome both of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you Sir, I want to understand that you know you say in your corporate channel here that leadership is a mindset. So how do you relate to this? So if you look at the mind, it is not steady mm. and leaders have to be very steady. Mm. That's why at the highest position in the corporate world, the position that we give is managing director, executive mm -hmm. director. What is the meaning of director? Somebody who directs. Yes. So the leader has to direct himself and the whole organization. Mm. And it's a mindset because if the leader's mind is not steady and clear mm. towards the vision and the mission, then mm. the whole organization can actually collapse. Yes. So I say if you can develop the right mindset, focus on the vision, the objectives, then you are a successful leader. Superb. So you worked on your mindset before becoming an entrepreneur. So what is your perspective in this? So what Sar said, you know, the leader should have a mindset, right? Uh, so I also believe in that, you know, the organization yes. and the employees are the reflection of the leaders. Mm. I believe in that. Because by looking at their uh, activities, their, you know, uh, maybe their, their day to day works, you can easily identify them. They are the reflection of the, maybe the board or the leader whom yes. they are reporting. Yes. They are the, simply the reflection of their leaders. Mm. So, mainly that leaders or the directors uh, who are responsible for those kind of, you know, uh, responsibilities, uh, they should have the great mindset. Mm. Yeah. So, when you talk about mindset, it's like fixed mindset and growth mindset. But yesterday while we were coming back from airport, you told me to be in the core, stick to the core and you told sir to stick to the core of wind. So, is it fixed mindset or growth mindset? How do I understand this? So, the way you look at it is that, you know, only when you are having a fixed clarity, mm -hmm. you can actually grow. Wow. So, let me give an example of all three of us over here. Yes, sir. You are very clear that you are fixed to the field of leadership. Yes, sir. You will grow in that field. In my case, when I am very clear about uh, Chanakya, yes. I have written 21 books, doing a lot of programs, yes. even at the University of Mumbai. So I am fixed in one field, but I am growing in that field. Yes. If you look at Sir also, he is very clear about wind. Yes. If he diverts, then you know, he will have to start again new. Correct. So I think the growth is within what is fixed. Wow. So what is your perspective? Yeah, yeah, Sir is absolutely correct. So I have set my mind also to be a wind person. Mm. So even the industry is sometimes, you know, calls me the wind baba. Like, you know, <laughs> this industry started in India uh, somewhere in 1994. Yes. So I started my career in wind in 1995. Yes. So 27 years plus experience, there are few people are having. Correct. And my case, I have a 27 years, this exclusive wind experience. Mm. So people may join in wind, they may then switch over to other industry and again they may start that career again in the wind. Correct. Uh, so there are many people like this. Yes. So they don't have a continuity in wind. Mm. Where in my case, so 27 years exclusive wind experience. And the special case what I am having here, that is you know this industry is you know, uh, the, the, there are three major stakeholders in this industry. Mm. One is the IPP, independent power producers. Yes. The second is the OEM. Mm. I mean, who manufacture wind turbines, IPP who own the assets, wind yes, assets. Yes. And third is the developers. Mm. So, the thing is, I mean, the special case which I have, I have a combination of all these three. Wow. So, that also, uh, that is what, so sorry, is correct that, you know, growth mindset with a single focus that I want to be a wind man and a wind baba. So, whatever it is, I want to give my, you know, the remaining entire uh, period also, I want to give it to only wind. Yeah. So both of you have almost you know three decades of experience, but yet since I personally work with both of you, I know that you people follow Vridha Sayog, and lot of leaders they don't want to learn after you know one set or level of experience and age. And we've learned Vridha Sayog from you. So sir, what makes you you know apply this? So I'll tell you one thing. Even if you are an expert, there will be somebody who's better than you. So let's say, you know, as you said, both of us have 30 years, but there will be some people who have experience of 40 years, 50 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. they may be retired. Mm -hmm. In fact, I know Karna Murthy sir has got so many advisors. Yeah. In fact, we met uh, one of the mentors of sir who is 90 years old yes. and today is uh, 46 years old. If you look at the gap, it's not only age, but also experience. Yes. So if I actually go to my teacher who is, let's say, 70 years old, mm -hmm. Dr. Shubhada Joshi, Madam or Ganga Dharan sir, you know, believe me, my Chanakya experience of 30 years actually becomes Chanakya experience of 60 years. Wow. 
सो आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज यू राइटली वॉन्ट टू चार्ड कैन गिवन दिस फॉर्मूला एंड इफ यू आर हम्बल इनफ टू लर्न फ्रॉम एक्सपर्ट्स यू एक्चुअली बिकम एन एक्सपर्ट यूर सेल्फ सुपर सो यू आर टेक ऑन दिस एक्जैक्टली येस Uh, i know uh, i mean this point i was having like you know even in my childhood also uh, my nani and uh, nana they even i have mentioned this in my book also yes so the discipline and other things i learned from them so they are like a vritta sahib for me in my yes. childhood that yes. has brought me up to this level mm-hmm. which i have diligently fo- followed mm-hmm. and the same thing in and after i completed my mls there and after i understood the seven pillars the seventh pillar which is very much important that is uh, advisors are mitra yes there is seventh pillar so that i want to have it for sure because it is giving a good result mm. see uh, today even our book launch event also dr kasturi rangayan 91 years old and uh, mr k r nayar so he is also mentoring me in uh, commercial sense and uh, dr kasturi rang in a technical way and they will able to you know predict the future also like this is the gap and you may please develop your team like that and uh, suppose you know Uh, for some kind of joint ventures or something uh, you know you may be having very less experience mm-hmm. uh, that somebody may give you the some rosy pictures in front of you you yeah. taking over this that will happen all the same but the advice will be able to give you the right decision correct so i i i want to have even soon in win plus also we want to have the advisory board mm-hmm. now we have a board of directors but we want to have the advisory board also great Yeah. since both of you have diverse mentors so i understand one point that you people are great in networking right and after one point of time when the business grows people stop networking so what is your perspective on this so why networking is crucial even after you are successful in fact if you are truly successful it is only because of networking and if you want to continue to be successful you should do networking and if you look at leaders their only work is networking <laughs> and look at the word network yes so if you want to grow your network yes better go and wow. network wow <laughs> so your take on this yeah just now i have you know my take away is you know i got to increase my network i mean network to have a more network, network. <laughs> so yeah this is a very good sir yeah yes we should have a network and my success also and the thing is you know i don't have, i don't know i i don't have any ways in this industries Uh, in the wind industry and i always you know pro- say wherever i get a chance to speak uh, you know the collaboration will work not the competition correct we can have a, you know maybe healthy competition but the collaboration yes mm. now you see win plus also we have many collaboration work yes, which correct. is giving uh, immense result correct. to the organization so correct. yes networking is net worth i agree with this sir <laughs> Yes. You spoke about collaboration, and I have seen sirs talking in his uh, even talks that future is collaboration. So, sir, what is your take on this? See, initially, if you look at it, you know, our education system was more about competition. Mm. So, let's say I got first rank, I'm mm. always afraid of the second rank, <laughs> and the second rank is always afraid of the first rank. Yes. But if you look at both of your students from the same batch, today it's collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is not only in education, even in business. and you know there's a concept called synergy yes 1 plus 1 can be greater than 2 yes. see if individually i'm struggling and i got that's a 30 years of experience if you are having 30 years of experience collectively you have 60 years of experience yes and that's why today if you look at anything that is happening for example let's say mobile mm. mobile phone that we have mm. actually look at mobile phone not only as a gadget it's an excellent piece of collaboration yes. not only communication too for example the design is say made by some experts mm. the technology is made by somebody else the maybe the screen is made by some other expert maybe the mobile uh, range or what we say the wifi part of it is covered by somebody but so if you look at one mobile instrument so many collabor- uh, people have come collaborated experts and then you make a fantastic mobile and i always say this about apple phones or steve jobs or any other phone samsung oneplus whatever it is it is because all experts came together and made the product better wow. so move from competition to collaboration superb so you since you spoke about collaboration and in the wind industry the first time that you introduced is training so we collaborated because of training yes. so so what was your vision and idea in this because i think we are pioneers to introduce training vertical in the wind industry exactly. specifically non technical yeah so how did this come sir see uh my experience is that the many wind companies mm. or the wind entrepreneurs who have started the company and mm. maybe after 5 years 10 years also mm. they are not having the big growth 
or they are not or they are into severe debt mm. so that is what you know i am working with many entrepreneur my friends are already have many entrepreneurs they are mm. running the company since last 10 years mm. so then the gap i understood after i got you know so many things i learned in uh, our course that mls also yes. so the training because chanakya is giving importance to the training yes the very first chapter start with the training yes so then there must be something so the training i want also give the importance so that uh, because the artha shastra first chapter start with i think training sir mm-hmm. so uh, that is what i that has made me to give importance to the training and uh, in fact we winplus had given two three trainings to the uh, company which were in severe debt has come up also yes right so we can name, we cannot name them but that definitely they are Correct. enjoying that benefit Correct. also so first i want to apply in winplus yes because the training since i am willing the training so every tuesday at 12 to 1 is a fixed learning hours for our in house training oh. so months is only conducting the training every week tuesday 12 to 1 compulsory learning wherever people are there they go to connected via zoom and they go to learn so training we want to give that is is a fixed and uh, this approach is liked by many other companies then we started uh, with a atc kind of this annual training contract like in our business amc annual maintenance contract for wind <laughs> for training i got up with a thought atc annual training contract <laughs> so because people are watching us like every tuesday these people are taking the training and the startup is growing like you know uh, there is a tremendous growth in our company sir yes so they are seeing our growth also so then they want to apply in their organization then i have to come up with some product that is atc annual training contract so you give fixed day every week fixed hours then we and uh, we will be sharing the agenda and also it is also working for a few companies good so training we are giving importance in men plus uh, which other companies also started following this training yeah correct correct um so you talk about training and we have seen that you know every day you have fixed dedicated hours of reading and so you are india's number one best selling author business author but so how do you you know connect to this what makes you you know be a passionate reader so i think somewhere it runs in the family and also it runs in good company cultures wow. see the kind of a work that i do requires training to be done mm. and training to be taken mm. as dr karna murthy said you know we also get external people to do training and i have seen this globally i have traveled to so many countries what is the difference between a developed country and a developing country mm. so i'll tell you one major difference mm. the countries which are developed believe in training and continuous training mm. and a developing country doesn't believe they say it's a cost i'll give an example when i travel to countries like germany mm. to singapore mm. or even for that matter america training is a part of the dna of every organization but in oh. india we say well, r and d is important or not important training okay some hr activity but i have seen in german companies even the driver is given training wow i'll give one example i remember i was in singapore mm. and there i met a government bureaucrat mm. he was part of the ministry of i think communication or something like that like what mm-hmm. we have information and broadcasting mm-hmm. and in my program he was sitting and i asked him how come you are such a very busy bureaucrat i was saying training and attending training is a part of my work mm-hmm. and he told me something interesting in singapore what they do is they take the people they train them up like any organization mm-hmm. and then they send them to america for one year to get trained in their culture oh. and they will bring the best of america to singapore So I think it's not just about training, but as Chanak has said, training with the best. And today I would say training in house, training with the best, and training globally will make your organization grow. Sir, so now I can relate why in corporate Chanak you you wrote that recruit the right people and invest in their team training. Yes. So now I'm able to understand that much better. So your perspective on this? Yeah, we have already told like you yes. know, we are also giving the uh, importance for the training. Yes. Yeah, because uh, I I uh, personally getting that benefit. You know, when I applied what I learned, I mean mm-hmm. the training mm-hmm. which I undergone uh, mm-hmm. uh, during my Mumbai days. So that I am applying it and I am taking it and I am getting the result also. So I want to implement in the organization so that the employees, you know. So till they are working, it it will give the good result to the companies also and for the personal life also it will give. So training you've taken, but then why do you read so much? I mean, whenever you are you know flying, you're always having one book along with you, and you want to read, you still want to you know increase your knowledge in spite of such a wide experience. Why that? Yeah, because the reading habit, uh, you know, that is really important. See, scientifically it gives uh, you know 
adjacent to your brain. Yeah. So that I somewhere I read, yes. but it is a good only because the communication is a subconscious things. Yes. So when you read something, it is going to store in your subconscious things. Correct. So uh, that will help you when you are taking some action. Yeah. Uh, you know that I read there. No, it is not the right way of doing it. Something it will give you some hint. Correct. So BDC because it is going into sub and I start my believe I start my day with reading. <laughs> I I you know uh, that uh, Chanakya the timing what we learnt. Yes. So I started to getting up at four thirty, and four uh, fifty a.m. I start my reading. Oh. Up to six one hour ten minutes minimum. Yeah. So that reading habit and yes that yoga put. That you know, uh, other in me that is, I mean, the habit. Like uh, when I met Mansi, you know, that is the one thing she hears. One way, way she is associated with the I mean, plus. Uh, she often asks me, sir, how you chosen me out of the fifteen students or fourteen students studied uh, in MLS? Then I told us, Mansi, find you are a you know the substance. You are a woman of substance. At at this age and you are having so many things. There is a lot of clarity, and we will be talking. Uh, from you know Chambu to that college, she used to offer so many things. Oh, so really, so that is the thing. And you see, always putting me, you know, you got to read, you got to be updated. Leader has to be updated, sir. She used to mention that. After actually, this reading habit is only from past two to three years, 2019 onwards. So that has made me uh, tremendous. And now uh, I am not preparing anything for uh, any uh, guest lecture or whatever it is. The flow is uh, from the natural. subconscious, it's natural. So reading. Habit I strongly recommend, and I want to promote this so that I am carrying this book and I am keeping as a WhatsApp status. And uh, you know, people are first they make it fun of it. So uh, are you taking the uh, cameraman also along with you to take the photographs? <laughs> but now they are making serious about it. Yes. And uh, one person said during my Baroda visit, uh, see whatever you are putting the status, I am buying that book. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is a good entrepreneur. He is running a hundred plus, I mean, under good ten hour company in Baroda. So I had personally called him for this book club. He is actually a Tamil person, mm. but he is settled in Baroda. He is taking whatever book I am reading and keeping in my status. He is taking buying those books. Oh. Yes. So I want to promote this reading habit by uh, keeping every time the book with me and keeping the status also. Oh. So people are following and. Uh, you know, after that status keeping also part of the training, uh, you know, see, uh, put uh, everyone, like, you know, you have to keep everyday status. Uh, so that I started following since last, uh, maybe one year, yes. And now the followers in the status watching, status observation, 500 plus Ooh. in my context. Wow. Yeah. So he's, he mentioned to me, sir, it's a good event that book lunch were inviting me. But I gave that my Bachaka program until 26th Republic Day and she's dancing uh, in the in the school. event, so in the school. So really I will miss that. So, But I need your book. Uh, you know one thing, whatever status you are keeping in your WhatsApp, uh, that uh, book reading flight, I am buying all the books, oh. he said. So reading, I to promote reading a bit, I am doing this as a, my daily routine, yeah, whatever books, yes. So you taught us in the university that you know Chanakya talks about intelligence management. So in this Vridha Sayog, learning everyday reading habit, all this comes. But also at the same time, sir, there is something that you taught us that you should have thinking time. So how can you relate to this, sir? Very interesting question, Manchi. See what happens that we read a lot. As yeah. I said, yeah. you know, all leaders are supposed to be readers. Hmm. Once you uh, get all that message, the wisdom, you need to churn it. Mm. And that is where you analyze, you use your intellect. Mm. See, reading is the first step. But mm. after that, you get the thoughts. Like we said, you know, one hour, 10 minutes he reads. Mm. But remaining 23 hours and 50 minutes, he's thinking about it. Mm. And you will see something and it will connect. Oh, this is what they said. For example, I tell you, uh, suppose I get an idea from one of the Chanakya books. Mm. Okay, I read it. But when I'm looking at it, so you're okay, training program. So Chanakya told me, but I'm able to relate. Yes. So it's very important. Reading is the first step, but thinking and applying is the most important next step. Great. So, and like you correctly said, thinking and applying, and I have realized one thing, that after learning Saptang from you, sir has applied Saptang in wind industry, which is again like for the first time. So sir, I want to understand your perspective in this, that how did you correlate Saptang? Like sir said, you first think and then apply. So how did this thought come to you? That you know, as a startup, and first time in the wind industry, you want to apply Saptang? Yeah, good uh, question, Mansi. And yes, 
see sir rightly mentioned the leaders are lifelong learners you see why this uh, display we have displayed this room leaders are lifelong learners and we have kept all the books here <laughs> so they have to learn they have to read yes. so but that that way this saptang then your next question saptang how we applied see saptang is a seven pillars you know uh, which is uh, i mean start with the swami amartya and janpad durga kosha dandan mitra so I, by heart i can say now so seven <laughs> pillars swami here i am correlating myself that yes. is managing director okay amartya the uh, nec- i mean next level directors so amartya and janpad so you should know uh, i mean your uh, market right uh, Uh, your target uh, you know there are already n number of companies are there in this industry correct so i should you know what is my target that is what is my that market place mm. so where i should focus so that i come up with that six uh, stages of the business model the mm. unique model mm. which one person gave after the program today's launching program so this nobody is offering in the industry so mm. but that i we find out and then the durga comes to so we have a very good durga because we should have a durga in place yes. and the durga is growing <laughs> yeah okay, thank you yeah so so we yeah, but, i mean that and all very uh, well planned yes. so these seven pillars i want to have i don't want to have, because any single pillar if you don't have then there will be a shake in the organization correct, correct. so then the fifth pillar comes with the kosha that is your uh, treasury yes. which is a lifeline of any organization yes. so i i decided you know at least for one year uh, uh, 10 lakhs is the expenses so 1 crore 10 lakhs i should have first so that is the things we did also correct right so that way the kosha was fulfilled and within a year we generated business now the company started uh, uh, you know sustaining on its own revenue and the sixth pillar is uh, another the, uh, yeah the, the, the team yeah so team you see uh, that now today we are 30 plus yes. and all are having very diverse uh, these things and to retain the team uh, you know whatever the research we have done that you know three things we are uh, maintaining in our organization we are contributing for the training okay the, the, this additional uh, this thing they are getting from the organization yes. and uh, the working lunch we are giving and uh, the first thing is the salary on time yes. so that that three things were done last is our seventh pillar is with the advisor so we are having advisors yes. so seven pillars saptam uh, we have implemented and it is giving immense result to the organization Great. so yeah so i have a question for you so when you wrote this book chanakya seven secrets of leadership which is about saptam So did you ever like imagine that you know it can be applied in every field? And because you co-authored the book, so I understand that again collaboration is coming. But whenever I read this book, every time I have different perspective, and I understand the pillar more better. Mm-hmm. So, sir, what was your thoughts or your journey when you wrote this book? So I'll tell you something. This is my second book. Yes. The first book, of course, everyone knows is Corporate Channel. Yes. You know, it's a big challenge for me to write the second book. <laughs> it's like seeing Bahubali Part One. So many success. <laughs> And you have to think how to make Bahubali Part Two better. Yes. <laughs> and fortunately, I met D. Shivanandan sir, yes. who is the co-author. Yes. And he was a leader. Yes. And he was sitting at a level which is called DGP, Director General of Police in Maharashtra. Mm. Mm. A Tamilian from Tamil Nadu becoming a leader in a different state. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I saw he was a true leader. Yes. So even though he did not know Saptanga this way, mm. Swami Amate Janapada, I could see him mm. practicing that. Mm. And then I said, you here is a subject for my book. Like everybody looks at new content, we are also having a jamming yes. content now. <laughs> so I said, "Here's the content." Yes. Varieties, varieties. <laughs> and then I saw a subtangle through his eyes. Yes. So coming back to your question, did I think that they'll become successful? The answer is yes and no. So subtangle, once you understand, it's very simple. Yes. But my role was to make sure everybody knows about it. Correct. Initially, people say, "Okay, Swami, Janapada." Mm. how do you relate it mm. but as you say now it is by heart <laughs> and believe me it's like a framework you start thinking yes. like when you enter an office okay danda is not there mm. oh infrastructure okay durga is not proper ah. or you know, there is definitely kosha problem here okay. so you become an analyst mm. and let me tell you all the friends over here please not only read my book but study wind plus <laughs> and see how saptang is getting applied and you know it's an insight you get like for example when you go to a really genuine doctor looking at the patient only the doctor can tell what the problem is mm. so if you are a business leader or any leader by looking at the organization you can tell it's a swami problem amartya problem janapada problem or kosha problem so what i'm saying the self analysis tool i am happy like dr kanna mathan i'm sure you are also doing that lot of people i've seen who applied saptang have actually become fantastic leaders in their field so saptang is it is applicable for every organization okay. you take that school also then the saptanga it is applicable i mean many of us are youtube i have watched 
yes you know correlated with the school management so start with the principal and the yeah. teachers that video also i watched so so that and all put me to apply very diligently this saptang i want to put it in in plus so that way we selected our core team and other thing yes seven pillars are there so what if saptang becomes a case study for others and others case study win plus will take and win plus will become a case study of saptang for others yeah. <laughs> So I was trying to relate the word energy because today we have a collaboration yeah. podcast. So I found this interesting sutra in Arthi Shastra: bravery, resentment, quickness, and dexterity. These are the qualities of energy. But I failed to understand this, so I thought I will ask you. No, very good point. It's a very deep sutra. Yes, sir. So I'll tell you if you look at energy hmm. in the field that we are working in. Typically, energy is some resource that you get to maybe hmm. run your company. Hmm. Or Asha is saying wind energy. It could be solar energy or many other energy methods, but Chanakya says energy is also a quality of a leader, oh. and he goes to the level of defining what kind of energy. Mm. So first quality, the four or five as you said, you know, yes. the thirty-six qualities of a leader, mm. out of which four types of energy, mm. like for a bravery. Mm. If you're not brave, mm. suppose as we say in Sanskrit, manastiti and paristiti. Mm. Oh, there's corona happening. What mm. can we do? Mm. But even in corona, companies have done well. Mm. because of the energy level of the leader mm. he or she will say come on mm. let's bravely fight the case second one resentment mm. see what happens there's a lot of mental energy mm. it get lost when you get angry Correct. so that's why the concept of raja rishi is there you have to be calm and cool and save your mental energy mm. and use your intellect mm. so that's how the type of energy so if you look at it you know the different levels of energy so chanakya says each of them should be developed mm. by the leader so that's the sutra he talks about wow So you talk about you know Saptang and different different Raja Rishis and different things that you've applied, and you both are spiritually inclined. So how is spirituality connected to entrepreneurship? I want perspective from both of you. So we start from you. So I'm very clear. If you're not spiritual, you'll not be successful in any field. Wow. So let me give an example. One of the India's greatest actors is Rajini Khan. Hmm. If you look at even on the uh, Bollywood, it's uh, Amitabh Bachchan. Yes. And I've been fortunate to meet both of them. I will be surprised. Both of them are very highly spiritual in nature. Mm. If you look at you know, as you say, Vinod Baba, he is also a Baba in his own way. So many people don't understand. If somebody is successful for a long time in any field, it has to have a spiritual background. And what is spirituality? Mm. The ability to do a particular work with a dedication to God. Mm. So you can do a lot of strategy. You can do a lot of planning. Mm. But what about in spite of that, you can fail. Mm. But you have the spiritual side in in yourself. respect to your parents respect to your family members team mm. that's also a spiritual activity mm. and in fact there are two words i would say for entrepreneurs in spirituality mm. one is called karma yoga mm. and the second is called udyoga mm. so karma yoga is do your best and leave the rest but udyoga means it's a sanskrit word again but it's also got yoga in that mm. udyog the ability to lift a society mm. if you look at dr karuna murthy sir if you look at people around he said something very nice all his team members are around 5 kilometers mm. but because of that the whole place gets uplifted udyo mm. so activity should be done in a spiritual way to uplift the whole society wow. that's spiritual leadership super so how do you connect spirituality with entrepreneurship yeah it is i know uh, so as i already mentioned you know i i, I followed my uh, nani in uh, i mean the my grandparents actually yeah. so they put this spiritual in my childhood mm-hmm. and wherever you go you just pray and go and uh, at least agarbatti chalake you got to go something mm-hmm. like that they put me that and and i am carrying even today agarbatti to uh, travel also the bigger that childhood habit so and one more, one of the famous book i read that uh, billion dollar secret mm-hmm. in which uh, our uh, indian our uh, narayan murthy sir yeah so he has given some secret uh, this thing so there are six uh, this thing he has mentioned in it you have to first get up early that i am doing it and then you have to do the exercise daily routine exercise. i mean very simple things a leader has to follow mm. yeah, all six can be done but nobody is doing either one they will be missing like satang mein if they are not applying one any one pillar then there will be weakness Correct. so he has given some six out of out of the among those six may one is ritual daily rituals mm. wow he has mentioned narayan murthy ji in the billion dollar secret this is what i follow get up early do exercise read reflect do rituals and the last is some discipline he has given like this is a six things a six uh, things are needed for this. so the ritual i mean he has mentioned it it is needed mm. so sir rightly mentioned if you are not a spiritual you cannot succeed and we are seeing the those leaders in front of us 
and they will mention this it is not only he mentioned i mean the almost 20 leaders uh, biography is there everywhere it is there so you are saying that i'm saying that if you want to be successful be spiritual and if you are spiritual you will be successful no <laughs> <laughs> okay vice <laughs> versa yeah both are same yes okay so the university you taught us that if the king is energetic the subjects will be energetic and if the king is slack he will be fall into the hands of the enemies very easily and again there were energy energetic is coming so i thought let me relate to this also so, so what is your perspective in this so very clearly the energy of the leader is equal to the energy of the team great the king is lazy kuch nahi ho sakta hai and nothing can be done nothing will happen in fact i read a beautiful quote about leadership the the drive or the energy of the leader is the energy of the whole team mm. and they had given a beautiful quote there saying that you know the energy of the engine is the energy of the train <laughs> yeah <laughs> so if the engine stops everything stops so right. i think it's very important all leaders should not blame the team mm. but blame himself so if you are slack gone but if you are energetic everybody will become energetic the sanskrit word is utsaha vardhaka uh-huh. utsaha means keep everybody uplifted mm. enthusiastic mm. So if you are enthusiastic, they'll also be enthusiastic. If you say nothing is going to happen, what to do? Corona has come. Corona will come and go, but energy should never go. Great. So what is your take in this? Energy, yes. See, we are in wind energy. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing, you know, energy cannot be created. It can be only consumed. Wow. Correct, right? So creation, that energy, like you know, so you you can only so you have to keep the energy level up. Mm. it cannot be created mm. okay whatever energy level it can be only consumed so you should have more energy to consume for your various activities to in- improve or increase your productivity mm. okay and uh, secondly see we are working in wind energy so uh, i mean your revenue and uh, everything is linked with the energy only per unit per kwh kilowatt hour what is the unit cost that is the revenue making is completely depends on the energy generation from the wind energy mm-hmm. so end of the day the business is how much you know energy you have generated and uh, through this wind turbine how much revenue you got it your payback your irr your returns everything depends on energy so energy 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 yes so very soon you are going to write a book on chalakya and startups so i want to understand from you and you always told us even in the lectures that training is important for any startup for the first 1000 days at least so sir what is your message for the startups So what happens in startups? Initially, you don't have funds. Mm. You'll have to bootstrap it, put your own capital into it, and all. And many, especially in India, I found you know the training aspect is not very clear in startups. Mm. Either they'll give an excuse, mm-hmm. or they will not get the right guidance. Mm-hmm. So I'll give a formula for startups. Yes. How do you actually get training mm. when you can't afford it? Mm. I'm saying please go and contact retired people. <laughs> that's called with the sayo yes. okay see the beauty is that retired people have experience so nobody comes to them mm. especially i've seen that in the government sector yes. you know very powerful guys ias ips or maybe in the energy sector there is somebody but after retirement you know nobody values them mm. but if you are a startup you go to them believe me they'll give all the knowledge experience without charging <laughs> <laughs> so get trained by the best at zero cost so all startup should have mentors and the mentors are better who actually no have no selfish interest i will tell you i have seen retired people have no selfish interest but they need to be valued so get trained if you are a startup under the best and if they are available go and consider them as mentors as sir said you know he has got lot of board of advisors and i have seen that age group is very ripe mm-hmm. so even if you are a startup you can still go and get training from the best at zero cost So podcast is like indirect mentoring, and today I'm actually my with the Sayog is happening from the living Chanakya and the wind Baba, I must say. Okay. <laughs> so I want to understand that you know during our mentoring sessions, you always tell me that Mansi leadership is your core, and you should get into trainings more deeper. So why do you say this? So because any field, you only go more narrower and narrower. Mm. Initially, people are confused which field to choose. Yes. That's the first stage. Yes. Second stage, you choose a field and make it bigger. The mm-hmm. third stage is after you become big in that field, you have to go deeper. Mm-hmm. So in your case, you are already big in the leadership space. You are doing so many things. You are independent director in so many companies. But now you have to go deeper. So I'll tell you. I've been doing Chanakya for twenty-two years. Yes. But why do you still study and read? 
I'll tell you something since you asked about it. So what happens is that in leadership it is a big field. Mm. It's a changing field. Mm. So let's say I read a new article on hybrid model of leadership. So I said, what is this hybrid model? So in the initial days before Corona, before the lockdown and pandemic, everything was physical. Mm. But during the pandemic, everything was digital. But after pandemic, it will be a combination of digital and physical. Mm. So what is that model? I have seen so many leaders who have not even met their employees face to face. That's a new style of leadership for our generation. Maybe in the olden days, leadership was about maybe, you know, going with a sword and fighting against somebody. Mm. But today it's all about guns and machine and drones also. Mm. So I think every field keeps evolving and you as a person who's already doing so much on leadership should actually go deeper. And how do you go deeper? Two formulas. Formula number one, go to the old and go to the new. So going to the old is like, you know, go back and maybe in every literature across the globe, there'll be some lessons of leadership. Mm. Like how you're studying Chanakya, maybe Bhagavad Gita, this is Mahabharata Ramayana. But you can go back to other leadership cultures of the world also. Wow. So maybe go to Japan and see what is their old model of leadership. So go old, you'll get new insights. <laughs> go forward. Today in the generation of technology or social media, there's a new type of leadership. Yes. So I think anybody who is doing uh, good in any field should go deeper, mm. go more technical, go backward and go forward. Superb. I will apply this this year, sir. Thank you. So in the wind industry, leadership training is very rare or I can say does not exist that much. So why did you think of this? Yeah, you are right uh, because leadership is missing in this industry and uh, we have seen many companies also. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you know, we took a one company survey that, uh, you know, we, they have asked us to value or, uh, you know, do the survey. Mm-hmm. And why, you know, where is the backlogs in the company? We were asked to do that survey and uh, me and Marcy went there uh, to do that. And we met all the danda, that is the team, and everybody is complaining on the leader. Yeah, so that way, yes. Then, uh, you know, the problem is with the leader, then how can this uh, organization can grow? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was the thing, sir. So leadership and, uh, you know, if you ask me the leadership word, I started giving the importance to that leadership after I started, I mean, meeting Sarvali. So yes, he, has to, he was always, you know, uh, I mean, uh, mentoring us, you know, leadership, leadership, leadership. Leadership yes. is missing in the country also. Yes. And leadership is missing in every, because if you are a right leader, now any company, they are ready to pay anything at any level. Correct. Yes. In fact, I was, uh, uh, you know, asked by one of the company from Gujarat. Uh, to become their group CEO after I started this win plus. Oh. Yeah. So he'll pay you two crores. That is. But uh, so <laughs> then I said, no, that, uh, you know, that means leadership has more demands, I, I would say. Yeah. And they are not finding any right leaders. They have more wealth, more business, but they want to have right leaders. There is a very good demand for the leaders. And uh, particularly in wind industry, if you are having right leadership qualities, there is a big vacuum in it. Oh. Yeah, because now government of India uh, has set a target of it, this 2030 450 gigawatt. That is the target. Uh, right now we have a 100 gigawatt uh, only. So 350 gigawatt has to be uh, renewable energy, I mean to say. So in 8 years, uh, divided by 8, 350. So you have a huge business also. But to I mean this tar- to meet this target, we, we should have a good leaders. Every organization, every, I mean, these three major stakeholders is independent power producers, original equipment manufacturers and the developers. Until otherwise, these three stakeholders are not getting good leaders or perfect leaders. This target also, achieving this target also is a question mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So leadership is very much important, yes. And it has more demands in the industry. And I agree to this because I transitioned from being a motivational speaker into leadership course all because of Radha sir. So I agree. So coming to the end of the podcast, today was the book launch of Dr. Karudamurthy sir, his first book, Mind of Wind. So what are your thoughts on this and what do you want to say about Wind Plus? Mind of Wind, you know, as they say, the wind cannot be controlled. It can be directed and in the industry it's been used for energy purposes. Yes. And see, I'll tell you, it's put his whole mind on wind. <laughs> I've been fortunate to release this book, but what I want to tell you is that this is a story of every entrepreneur who has got a self-doubt. Yes. You know, if you look at it, the book, it's a very nice book about the struggles 
and also the challenges an entrepreneur goes through. But at the end of it, you definitely succeed. So I would suggest that, you know, I am going to personally holding this copy close to my heart. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But, but the story is going to be close to your heart because if you have any problems, you know, in leadership and in entrepreneurship, there will always be challenges. And the only way you can keep yourself motivated, as we said, is reading. Read this book. It's available, I'm sure, on Amazon and many other places. And very important, not only read it, but if you like it, comment it, but also gift it to others. <laughs> and today's 26th of January, what a beautiful day to release this particular book. Yes, sir, I you. wish there will be many more books coming from you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. you. It means a slot here. I wish all of you have got a lot of learnings from this podcast. Do share your learnings in the comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.